hi guys hi guys welcome back welcome back uh to those who are new welcome to my kind of vanessa this is where we are doing all the motherhood stuff welcome back guys so today uh we're gonna talk fast meets like um we're gonna do debunking some eight myths about breastfeeding and postpartum so grab a cup of coffee grab your favorite drink or whatever you like let's dive right into it So today we're going to talk about eight uh, postpartum and breastfeeding myths and then we're going to debunk some and some of them we're going to see if they are true or if there's any half truth to it. So our first myth is your baby bump disappears after giving birth. All right. I think um, there are some people that after they give a birth, after giving birth, after childbirth, they're like, um, like two days after the baby goes back in. Uh, personally for me it wasn't like that like I think I still have like the pouch and uh, it wasn't like really like that it was there for a while and in my tradition they say that like after giving childbirth you're supposed to like bind your bind your belly after giving birth but I didn't do that so according to uh, OBGYs they say um, the baby bump lasted several weeks right and uh, this is due to the uterus not contracting back so there are some factors that like that affect um that affects the baby the body uh, the baby bump and right so the first factor is expanded uterus like i said the uterus while you're pregnant the uterus expands so after giving birth it doesn't just contract just like that it takes like several weeks for it to contract to contract back and then normal pregnancy weight gain so obviously as you know like when you're pregnant you your calorie intake increases so this causes like for you to gain like body weight and hence the extra weight on the the, the extra fats on the tummy and the other one is decreased bowel movement so when you're pregnant there's some hormones that are released while you're pregnant it affects your bowel movement this also results in you gaining a baby bump so just give it like a few weeks some of it uh some for some people it goes back after a few months for some after a few weeks but it doesn't really disappear the moment you give birth no it doesn't then the second one is <laughs> so this was really interesting uh when i was googling like uh pregnancy and postpartum meats breastfeeding and postpartum meats this was like the interesting one it says that um your vagina will become loose after giving birth <laughs> all right so i know i know i know everyone i feel like everyone talks about this a lot like sex after after giving birth and it that type of topics and everything so yes there may be some changes like that's a myth so there might be some changes like just for a short while a short time like after giving birth but then the blood flow to the vagina is really really good so this uh it like it contracts very quickly but just that the lacerations and the swelling might take time because as you know you're giving birth to a baby like a human being and pushing that head it's not fun and so obviously they're gonna be some swelling they're gonna be some some lacerations and obviously uh there's also the part of you know of stitches if you tear all right so the muscles in the vagina like uh and those muscles the muscles in the vagina right they may not be used uh not have been used often during pregnancy and immediately after postpartum but they can also be strengthened and improved that's when you hear like they say after giving birth try doing kegels it helps tighten the muscles and healing quickly but truth be told after giving birth your vagina doesn't <laughs> become loose at all no all right the third one is you can have sex right after childbirth like after pushing that three pound baby out after pushing that baby out when you have sex all right so according to abj there are two reasons 
why they tell you like after giving birth that you should not, you should refrain from having sex at least until the initial like until the bleeding period is is over so the first one is just the comf like comfort you know like you won't really feel comfortable because you have stitches you're bleeding it's just whew, it's just uncomfortable it's really really uncomfortable then the second one is more scientific it's because like after giving after childbirth your uh your cervix is open or they believe it's open so like when your cervix is open and when you have sex there are bacteria in your vagina that will that might get inside your what inside your uterus and this might increase the chances of you getting what getting an infection so that is the reason why um they my the the gynecologists they kind of uh, tell you not to have sex after giving birth at least until the the flow the, the like after giving the after child period finishes then it's fine you can have sex after that but soon after giving child birth it's a no 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 you can't then the fourth one is breastfeeding will come naturally okay so this is interesting so for some people when they when they find out that they're pregnant they go for you know child uh birth lessons they go for breastfeeding lessons they go for all these child taking care of child lessons then for some like me we didn't go we didn't do that all that so honestly breastfeeding doesn't come naturally at all nope 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 it doesn't and breastfeeding is a process you know it's it's frustrating and sometimes we as maybe as new moms you are worried that you know your child you just don't believe that your child is getting enough milk so some, it's not something that comes naturally to you to anyone yes maybe some have experience taking care of kids but ah nope it doesn't come naturally to everyone and also sometimes um the way you can only know like the way you can only know if breastfeeding is working and your baby is getting enough is by weighing your baby that's the only way you can know if you're breastfeeding properly or if there are any issues that's only by weighing your your baby like going to the pediatrician and getting your baby weighed so it's normal i will repeat again it's normal if you feel like you're struggling with breastfeeding it's really normal it doesn't just come naturally it's a lesson especially for first-time moms because the thing is your child is learning you are learning you are both brand new people to this whole process so don't 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 feel the pressure of saying oh, okay my i can't breastfeed i don't know like it's not working is it me am i a bad mom no it's okay it doesn't come naturally then the the fifth one is breastfeeding will help you lose baby weight quickly all right this is one of the myths that i've heard regularly like make sure you do ex people like you need to do exclusive breastfeeding when i had my baby you need to do exclusive breastfeeding because you're gonna lose all the baby weight but hey, i still have some anyway you're gonna lose all the baby weight it's gonna take time you know it won't take time the moment you're breastfeeding you'll be losing all the weight but nope that's a myth all right so when you're breastfeeding you need to increase your calorie intake it's just like when you're pregnant you need to increase your calorie intake because you're not just feeding yourself you're also feeding for the mother you're making what you're breastfeeding a human being and as kids grow they like their milk demand gets you know gets high so you're going to increase your calorie intake and you also but most people will burn somewhere around 800 calories per extra calories like per day during like in breastfeeding process and breastfeeding is wonderful honestly but it's not magic it doesn't take away all the the baby weight some people take four to six months to lose all the baby all the baby weight that like all the baby weight they have gained during pregnancy and it's normal don't stress yourself if you see you're still chubby enjoy that chubbiness it shows that you have given birth to a human being i'm telling you don't even stress yourself it will go away with exercising and eating and stuff so don't worry don't blame yourself for anything or just feel insecure um 
Okay, so well, all right. That was the fifth one. All right. So the sixth one is it's normal for nursing to hurt. Like it's normal for breastfeeding to hurt. And yeah. So like it's not like what I'll say is um there are discomforts like when you're initially the in the initial period, like when you're breastfeeding for the first month. I like for the first time I also had those discomforts like when the baby is leeching on and stuff. It's really it's really painful. But that pain shouldn't last like for weeks, right? It shouldn't last for years. For, for initial, when you're initially breastfeeding a child, it should be pain. Yes, it can be pain for their discomfort when the baby leeches on properly or when the baby starts sucking. It's really painful when the milk starts coming out. It's really painful. Like it's their discomfort. But it shouldn't be excruciating pain that lasts for weeks. So if you see that the pain is lasting for for weeks, you need to go like see a guy um you need to go see a nursing therapist i think they are there and then you tell them that's when they come and see if the baby is leeching on properly because if the baby is not leeching on properly on your breast it becomes excruciating that's when you get uh excruciating pain and you know and other factors there all right and let's move on to our seventh myth all right so the seventh myth is your milk supply can't be improved. All right. So there's some that believe that, you know, the amount of milk that you have, you can't improve it or anything like that. But yeah, you can actually improve your milk supply because your body makes milk according to the demand that, that like that is needed. So if, if your baby drinks on a regular basis you notice that your body starts reproducing milk on a regular basis as well so in order for you like there's some tips that you can that you can practice if you want to increase your your milk supply that is either you feed your baby on a regular basis like you feed whatever they want you feed them or you can get um um a breast pump a quality pump that can do almost as well as a like what as well as uh as a newborn like after feeding your baby you use a breast pump to suck all the to pump all the breast that is remaining on your in your in your boobs and then so if you continue doing that you're stimulating and you're telling your body that i have a baby here who needs milk on like on a regular basis and he needs large volumes of milk so that way if you do that it's going to like your milk supply will increase because it fights to what to meet the demands that are being needed so there are some tips that you like there are some things that you need to be careful when you're like trying to increase your milk supply or even when you're breastfeeding you need to make sure that you are not dehydrated one you are not overly stressed or running around uh all day like these things that can make it hard for your body to what to continue to keep uh to keep pumping so you need to make sure that you're hydrated you're not overly stressed and you're giving your body time to take a breather to take like giving your body time to produce the milk supply the demand that is just required to what that it is required to meet and then the eighth one and the final myth on our part one is Breastfeeding makes your baby clingy and needy. All right, this is my first time hearing this. I've never heard this one before, but but breastfeeding um, babies doesn't make them needy or anything. Um, they only come for you like when they're hungry. That's when the babies, you know, come for you. So it's not. It's not that they are needy or anything, but it's just that you are what they like. You are the one who's providing food for them, so obviously they are going to to come and want milk from you. So it's not that they are needy or they are clean. No, nope. no, nope, it's not that. So if you're exclusively breastfeeding for the first or age age to twelve weeks, obviously the newborns know that you know they'll be with you during those feeds feeding sessions they are very frequent when they're young as you know like they are regularly like feeding but once breastfeeding is well established they are like 
there is a room for allowing other people like you pump you can pump the breast milk then you can give a family member or support people to what to give your baby some milk so it's not that your baby is clean when you breastfeed or when you exclusively breastfeed but it's because your baby needs the milk so when they want to feed so when they want to feed obviously they are going to look for you so it's not that they are clingy or needy it's just that you are their source of food so obviously they are going to look for you all right so that's it for today those are like the eight myths that i had for you today about breastfeeding and postpartum like we debunked some and some of them had half truth in them but you know how it is so tune in for part two i'm gonna do a part two about this because there are like 16 myths that i want to debunk but today i just thought we should do eight so what are the other myths that you know that you have had and that you think are crazy like crazy myths that you've read about postpartum and breastfeeding and you know i know like every every tradition has some myths that they have or they have some things that were passed down from generation to generation what are they that are like interesting about postpartum because i know in some in most african countries they say that after giving birth you should not see your husband for like seven days and if you're not married you should be like for two weeks before your husband sees you or the baby and for some countries like i said where i come from they say after giving birth you should bind your your tummy it helps with pushing the tummy back in and everything and so what are the myths that you know that you grew up hearing and after giving birth or after having a child you didn't experience all right guys thank you so much for joining me today i hope to see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe and the subscribe button is somewhere and go view other 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 videos that i have and see you next week bye